Okay, so I built speaker number six. Um, I want to keep this intro kind of short so we can get right into it, and then I'll talk about it after. So we're going to go to a little build montage. We'll talk about it, and then we'll go to the testing of the speakers. So that's the plan. I'm going to try to put chapters in this video as well as timestamps so you can move throughout the video to what you're really wanting to see. So um, look for that.
back here. You may have noticed something a little different this time. We actually built three separate speakers this time. The reason for that is in our testing this time, we're going to look at the changes that the surround and spider material makes for the speakers. So in doing that, I chose um, Ninja Tech 85A, uh, the Cheetah, and then a Filamentum 97A. So we have an 85A. I believe the Cheetah should be a 90-ish A. I'll put that on the screen somewhere. Um, and then the filamentum will be the 97A, and that will give us kind of the frequency responses and how they respond to the same power output looking at our um, graphs here at the end. So that's kind of the differences in this. Also in the motor assembly, it's now, as you can tell, it's detachable. So I can change between different speakers with the same motor. It just holds on by three bolts. And this assembly, I went from a, I believe the last one was seven magnets, a seven magnet array to a nine magnet array. And then these magnets are now double stacked. And then I still kept with the same center section pole in this to mimic the magnet being on a center pole that's made of metal. Since I don't have a metal printer, I can't make a metal pole. So this is the way that I emulate it. So yeah, we'll get to testing and kind of see which ones respond how. Looking at these graphs, my thoughts on this are kind of proven that the smaller TPU 85A is a looser material, therefore it doesn't have as much control, but it also makes it more efficient down in the lower ranges, but then it loses its control up top as we see around the 10,000 hertz. So building subwoofers moving forward, I'm going to use 85 and then building tweeters and mids, I'll be using the upper level stuff. So yeah. Alrighty. Um, well, that's all I really have for you guys this time. Um, I'm also thinking of doing a speaker build challenge 
for the 100 subscribers that I'm right near as of the time of shooting this. I'm at 98 subscribers. So I want to do a speaker build challenge where I give you guys the dimensions of the magnets and the dimensions of the wire that I'm going to use. And then I'll have you guys send the designs to an email that I'll have linked in the description. And you tell me kind of what your predictions are on your speakers. And I'll pick some of the speakers that I like the design on or some that are just really crazy out there. And we'll print them up, um, put them together, and we'll test them and see how they perform. And then if you guys enjoy that kind of stuff, we'll maybe do that every couple videos. We'll do a little design challenge. And maybe we'll start putting parameters in that you have to meet on these designs as well. So if that's something you're interested in, please be on the lookout for that. Um, it will be in the near future. So thanks for watching. Um, if you made it this far, thanks for watching this far. Um, but yeah, have a good one, guys.